Welcome back to Clash of Armor. So in the last video, we upgraded. We upgraded our Suicider tank as much as we possibly could so we can do things like that and just destroy the enemy. Whenever they send up a new tank, that's fine. That's what the Suicider's for. And man, do they do pretty good. You see that tank coming in from the sky? That's the most powerful tank in the game. And we are going to make it even more powerful by upgrading it to its maximum level. Just to see how good it is. I've never used it. I just used a Suicider to stop me dying from a Suicider. That's amazing. So how powerful is the boss? I mean, I'm almost dead here, but this artillery tank is holding the line. Look at that sweet, sweet max level. But here's the boss and we have enough to upgrade at one level. Increasing its health, damage, but unfortunately you can't make it cheaper. Let's get a disabler, a rhino, and then we're gonna go two suiciders in quick succession. Is it enough? They got another tank? Fine, we'll suicide that one. Oh, they got another tank. They just keep getting more tanks. Jesus, that's a lot of tanks. Now I do believe we're playing other people, which is pretty cool and kind of terrifying at the same time. And there's our boss tank. Oh, those suicider tanks are really strong. I love that strategy, but I think I'm gonna like this one even more. There it is, the big boy, big daddy tank, Tankosaurus Rex. We'll send a disabler in front of it and then an absorber. I feel like that is a trifecta of glory. Oh, of course, of course. But if we're disabling it, oh, but their tower was destroying us. The timing was not as ideal. All right, we're sending in a suicider tank to take out their artillery while our fury absorbs. Well, that kind of sucked. Now you'll notice the big daddy tank takes a while to get down. And man, artillery is really good at countering it apparently. And the enemy is just waiting for us to send in big daddy before he sends in big daddy. There can only be one big daddy. I guess we'll have to send in a wave of suiciders. And they'll do some pretty significant damage to that tower. Maybe just enough. Oh my goodness, look at that. That thing is get sitting on maybe one health point. We can send in an artillery barrage, apparently. But before we get to the rest of the video, let me tell you about this awesome zombie survival strategy game called Age of Z Origin. In the game, you will need to survive endless hordes of zombies, revive and reclaim territory once lost to humanity, and dominate all those who stand in your way. This is not your typical zombie strategy game. You can do so many things, like build massive armies, recruit secret powerful heroes, fight against mutated zombie monsters, you can even form alliances with friends, and dominate as a team. Oh, and did I mention titans? Yes. Giant titan beasts that help you fight against the endless waves of zombies. Is that Thanos as a titan? In this game, there's something for everyone. From real world, real time strategic battles with hundreds of players fighting at once, to insane tower defense action, to futuristic high tech weaponry, and even reclaiming your city block by block. You'll find intense action everywhere you turn. Oh yeah, and there are also hardcore bosses in this game that are super hard to defeat. If that wasn't enough action for you, there are also giant base defense cannons that can take care of problems for you. So do you have what it takes to slay hordes of zombies? Download Age of Origins for free by clicking the link in the description below. Plus, all new players get $60 worth of gifts for free. So click right now below and thanks to Age of Z Origins for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the action. But that's not gonna do too well. We need a front line of tanks, especially when they're sending in kamikazes. Kamikaze! I can't believe we had them on the ropes. We had them so close. And all we're getting is artillery. I have four artillery in my lineup. That's obscene. These are not front line tanks. And unlike a game like Battle Cats, should we play that by the way? You can't upgrade your economy, so you're sort of limited. I'm saving up for big guy. I wonder if he is too. Yes, he is. Okay. If that's the case, we're going to let the artillery soften him up a little bit and wait for him to get in close. Oh, our tower is is hammering him. Okay. So there was an advantage to waiting and then a suicider just wiped out big guy. It's like they're using our strategies against us hey but we have victory and you know what that means with victory comes the spoils and with the spoils come more upgrades and with the upgrades come more victories which should give us more money to get more upgrades to get more victories wait a minute am i caught in a loop 
Now do we do it? Suicide. Whatever they send to me, I'm just gonna suicide. And I'm gonna save up for good guy. Ah, 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 ah. He's probably saving up too. No. Oh, please! Oh my gosh, the timing there was really, really close. Our suicider survived long enough. We've got some damage on the base, but unfortunately, the enemy is bringing in a big boy himself. And there goes our front line of defense. We're gonna fight right in front of our wall, so our tower doesn't take much damage, but they lose their most powerful tank. And we're gonna create a army of chaff tanks. Ha ha ha! Ooh! Look at that! The artillery tanks killed each other at the same time. Big boy! I like how it can shoot from the air too. We kind of have an attack helicopter then, don't we? We could get that absorber in before our big guy starts taking hits. No, the tower's just destroying it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The artillery is doing it. Maybe, are we upgrading the wrong tank? No, we need to stick to the strategy and more upgrades. Let's do an early suicide rush. Ha 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 ha. Nerd. Wait, I'm, I'm a nerd too, I guess. Big wave invasion. They've got artillery, we need to bum rush them. Ooh, this is dangerous. But fighting right in front of your tower is a really, really good strat. And I keep getting artillery and they're unupgraded. Leading me to think maybe if we do play this again, if you guys want to see more, we could go all in on artillery. There it is, finally. We have to see what the enemy does. And now we just need to support the big guy. So lots of little tanks and we're actually getting very fortunate with our deck rolls here. Cause it's almost like a deck building game with tanks except you don't really get to design your deck. But look what I get to do. Defeat my enemies and bathe in their tears. That's, that's one salty bath. Level five. So to start out, we've got a lot of cheap tanks, which I think is pretty good. Let's do a little Suicider Rush, if they're not gonna spawn anything. There we go. Now we'll get two Rhinos right in front of the base. So hopefully the base helps out a bit. Turning the tide of battle in our favor, which should give us enough time to save up for the big boss tank and support it with little guys. And, if we can time this right, a suicide rush. Unfortunately, the enemy pulled out a suicide tank right as we got to their doorstep. It's like we weren't invited to ruin his day. We have one in our lineup. They're very difficult to get. And I feel like setting them in by themselves is just not a good idea. Yeah, because if this was Battle Cats, I would be upgrading my economy like insanely. But I'm not going to need to. Level 5 boss tanks, we're not even fully realized. What if we opened up with a boss attack? That's artillery. Hmm, dangerous. Turn the tides, my brothers! Send in the suiciders. Wait a minute, no way. No way. Not once, not never. Are we gonna defeat them right here? Oh my god. Oh my god, well, that's what happens when you upgrade the boss tank and uh, get him early and open up. We are $85 short. It's preposterous. It's ridiculous. All right, enemy, your move. Come on, Mary. Oh, a boss tank. I know just how we're gonna deal with this. I'm gonna, uh, he's gonna think I'm AFK. This is probably a dumb strategy. Pew, pew, pew. And, oh no. Wow. Brutal. Not the best strategy I've ever pulled out of my butt. We have almost no hit points left. 
We dropped that in at the perfect time, just enough to survive. And now we must rush the enemy because we have them on the back foot. I don't know what he's saving up for, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. I really thought I was going to lose that. And I really did, uh, I knew we were going to win the whole time. Because this is our strategy. Upgrade. Do a quick suicider rush. Ooh, get under. Oh. We'll send another one. Fury tanks, I think, are a tank that I'm sleeping on, right? I'm not, like, going to bed, but, like, not investing enough upgrades into. Yes! The sweet taste of victory. So what we could do is do a little suicider rush. His furies are only level one as well. All right, once we destroy that, this suicider should sneak in and do pretty significant damage to that base. Now, what's the enemy doing? Aha. Come on, big daddy. Save the day. Look at him. He's basically an attack helicopter. Oh my God, we destroyed. Ooh, the suicider. Ooh. He's a tank. Like literally, I mean, he literally, yeah, he's literally a tank. Boss tank supported by Fury, supported by a Rhino, and then it's just gonna be a Rhino charge. A stampede. What do you call a group of Rhinos? Isn't that a murder? I'm pretty sure a group of Rhinos is a murder, just like we did to that base. Never mind that's crows. Oh my God. After hearing me say things like that, ooh, max level. It makes, it may come as no surprise that I was bad at biology, but I was pretty good at chemistry. See? Look at this suicide tank. And this one. Taking out his favorite toys. Oh, wow. I tell you what, now that we've upgraded our big daddy boss tank, we're actually able to destroy incoming suicide tanks before they're able to do too much damage to us. Now, I think this might be enough. It is. And we even had an artillery piece coming up and he didn't even get to do anything. So we have upgraded the boss to the maximum level. Now we gotta decide who's next. You decide. I think Fury would be a good one. But anyway, thank you for watching another episode. Pull the trigger on that like button if you do think we need to play more tanks. And I'll see you in the next one.